Brother! Cow Cow's forces are getting too close to us! Come on, let's attack them first! The envoy we sent to Cow Cow was murdered in cold blood. Why in the world should we wait? Cow Cow, why did you betray me? Why are you attacking? Didn't we break bread and drink to friendship? Brother! Don't you want to rescue Dao Chan? We can't let this cow cow get away with this! Mm. I'm going! I only live to take revenge for Mei Mei! Don't you know how many good men have died to get you this far? When will you start fighting back? Brother, I can see my words won't convince you. If you're still in doubt, ask them! Listen! I have one desire. Diao Chan. We must fight a battle to save her. And there will not be a single night's peace until we have won the war. Knowing what that means, what awaits you? Do you still want Lu Bei to lead you into battle? I say give it her all! I do want to save Diao Chan! Lord Lu Bei, we will fight for you! And now... A war. I will meet Kao Kao. It is done. Let the battle begin! Why must men be forced into fighting such cruel wars? Does heaven wish us to destroy ourselves? It was Kao Kao who began all of this. I don't understand how he got the mandate of heaven. Kao Kao. I defy this mandate. I do not care who has been chosen. I will win this war! Yao Chan, I have found my path. This is what I was born to do. If my lord follows the path he believes in his heart, to be the true path, the disasters will end. Mm. I will bring peace to the land and rule with the people's help. But first, Kao Kao, I will crush your greedy ambition! To war! It is a very good day for a battle. To restore heaven and earth's balance. To govern the people fairly. To rescue Diao Chan. I promise. I will defeat Cao Cao in this final battle! Look. Liu Bei's fleet. Cao Cao, it's okay, because I will be with you. <laughs> Himiko, victory is already in our hands. They will be destroyed. You never know. Something bad could happen. But if it does, I'll protect you. I'd do... I'd do anything for you, Cao Cao. I... My lord, the enemy is preparing a fire attack. I love you. And you love me too, don't you?
<laughs> the fool. A fire attack. Without any wind, they'll be lucky to light a torch. Right now, the enemy is bleeding with heaven. Oh, yes. And heaven is on our side. The mandate of heaven is with us. To battle! So tell me now. Do the people really want you Bay that much? Hmm. Does that surprise you? <laughs> of what use is their support? Great things cannot be accomplished. If you fear a people's scorn, a conqueror sometimes has to get his hands bloody. You Bay. You are soft. There's no way someone like you can beat me. To battle! Save from my heart. I hate war. But I must fight to make a peaceful world. You must understand. My dear brother, you've done well in fighting this far. But it is I who will take control of these troubled times. I alone will win this battle. And after I win, I will fashion a new world with my own hand! Chan! <gasps> Liu Bei! Diao Chan, I was so worried about you! I knew it! Oh, I knew you would look in the crystal! Where are you? Tell me! I don't know. I'm kept locked inside of here. Although... I suspect it's the capital. The capital? Liu Bei, I feel very... Diao Chan, are you alright? Liu Bei? Diao Chan, what happened? Are you alright? Diao Chan! Mei San Yang, bring her image back, I beg you! I cannot. The sorceress has blocked the power of the crystal. It will only work again when she has been defeated once and for all. Then her strength will wane. But I'm afraid until then... Risk! I'd brave anything to save you. But how are you? They're not mistreating you, are they? Lord Cao Cao is of no concern. I am safe. Huh? How can you be sure? Liu Bei, Cao Cao is strong. I will not lose. But the Mandate of Heaven cannot be defied. Mandate of Heaven? What are you talking about? Tell me! Liu Bei, don't risk your life. Cao Cao has... Has what? Jiao Chan! What does he have? Liu Bei, do you remember what the oracle said? What oracle? The woman of destiny will bring your ruin. Oh, that one. 
I think the woman of destiny may turn out to be me. Diao Chen, don't lose heart. I will rescue you. You must believe what I'm telling you. I would like to, but I can't. You see, I have a little secret. Here it is. The Oracle also said Cao Cao would conquer the entire world. It came from heaven. Are you sure? Cao Cao? Yes, the Oracle said heaven is with his troops. Not with yours. You have to stop the fighting. It can't be true. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. How could heaven pick him over me? Don't go, Diao Chan! can have the mandate of heaven. I'll prove it to you. You mustn't continue to fight, Liu Bei. There are boats filling the Chengjiang River. Cao Cao is putting everything he has into this battle. He's going to destroy you all. You just have to get out of here. Diao Chan, are you on a boat too? Answer me, Diao Chan. Yes, I overcame the mandate of heaven. I watched you as you engaged in battle, and you fought so bravely. You know something? I'm not afraid of the mandate now. Diao Chan, this time I will rescue you without fail. I believe you. Liu Bei, I know that you will. Diao Chan! Ah! Another earthquake. Earthquakes, locusts, wars. Guess this is it for the Han Empire. Everyone says that Lord Cao Cao wants to start a new government, but I don't think I want the kind he's thinking about. Hey, I think this Liu Bei fellow would make a fine ruler. Everyone says that he's a decent Shh. man. Keep your voice down. If Cao Cao's troops hear you talking like that, you'll regret it. Did you have to attack Liu Zhang? To stop Cao Cao. In order to expand our forces. You too have been seduced by the desire for conquest. No. I just want to rescue you. No matter what your excuse is, you're doing the same thing as Cao Cao. No. You're worse than Cao Cao. At least he's being honest about it. Diao Chan, I know you don't you understand. I know you just want to be the emperor too. Diao Chan, no. That's not true. Trust me. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I... No, no, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I haven't saved you yet. Believe me, I'm not like Cao Cao. I have no desire to rule the world, or to make the people suffer. All I want to do is to save you. Cao Cao is not as merciless as you think he is. I just know that if there was a way, a way that I could get him to stop fighting. Listen to me. You must not trust Cao Cao. Liu Bei, there's so much you don't understand. Diao Chan!
Oh, how can this be happening? Lupe! It's awful! Cow Cow has expelled the Han Emperor and named himself the Emperor! Starting a new empire! He's called it the Wei Empire! What's that? What's more? You mean there's more? All sorts of natural disasters are happening in the capital. Rumor is that you are the cause of them. What? I'm causing natural disasters? This is it for the Han Empire. Everyone says that Lord Cow Cow wants to start a new government, but I don't think I want the kind he's thinking about. Hey, I think this Leo Bayfell would make a fine ruler. Everyone says that he's a decent man. Shh. Keep your voice down. If Cow Cow's troops hear you talking like that, you'll regret it. Stop. I've heard that somewhere. You have? Liu Bei often hummed it. Liu Bei did? Beautiful. is ruled by the mandate of heaven's will. When the mandate is absent, kingdoms collapse and a turbulent age begins. Calming this disharmony is the mission of the one who is chosen by the mandate. The sun is setting on the Han Empire, which has reveled in 400 years of prosperity. Throughout the land, catastrophes abound. Rebellions multiply. The divine rule falls. Thus begins the turbulent age of rival warlords. The child emperor, lacking both the power and the experience to manage royal affairs, entrusts the imperial seal, the symbol of the mandate, to one woman. Fate now calls forth a new hero.
troops! All my loyal troops, rally to me! This is Liu Bei, the lord of a small province in whose heart no evil dwells. He is my love. My lord, I am at your service. Now! You saved us. You have my gratitude. This is Cow Cow. Disciplined and decisive. Once an officer of the Empire, he raised a personal army in search of world domination. After the battle, Liu Bei throws a banquet to honor Cao Cao for having saved his life. We would have died without your help, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Gao Chan. Truly, all I want to do is live in peace. Live with you, Gao Chan. <laughs> True love, how very sweet. Hey, bring more drinks for Lord Cao Cao. Drink up, my friend. Liu Bei, indifferent to world domination, Cao Cao thinks of nothing else. A fragile truce between two men who could never really be friends. Their brief encounter foretold the tragedy to come. Commanded by the priestess, I also witnessed Cao Cao's oracle. When I heard its pronouncement, I shook with fear, for I felt that what I saw before was confirmed. A secret I could not even tell Liu Bei. Only months later, Cao Cao threw in his lot with the priestess and took up arms against us to kidnap me. No to kidnap the secret I held so close. was taken. Liu Bei barely escaped the capital with his life. Others were not so fortunate. There was a rainbow that day as well. Yes, that was the root of it all. The long, drawn-out war between two arch-rivals, Liu Bei and Cao Cao. So have I. Liu Bei. I swore I'd save you, but it, it took so long. You've changed so much. You've become so powerful. I've put you through so much. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. If I hadn't... If I hadn't known about the Imperial Seal... Imperial Seal? Yes, 
The Imperial Seal is necessary to ascend to the throne. Diao Chan, why on earth do you... This hairpin is it? After the great battle, I found Cow Cow on the field. from my mother. <coughs> Cow Cow! Of all my family, only I survived. I saw much. I have seen too much of this world. Man is a beast. He must change. I swore to use my strength and will to end war because I promised Diao Chen, go to Liu Bei and tell him to make a world where a person like me cannot be born. <laughs> Farewell, Diao Chen. Cow Cow! Cow Cow! Briefly favored by heaven, Cao Cao's brilliant career and the Wei Empire fell. And so ended the clash between two arch-rivals that shook the world. Out of this destruction, Liu Bei fashioned a new world. know what became of Himiko. Some say she went to an island across the sea. But who really knows? In this world, for some, gentleness is forbidden. And despite their kind and gentle hearts, they are forever destined to move through life clad in an armor of ice. <laughs> Dear Jen. To Liu Bei and tell him to make a world where a person like me cannot be born. <laughs> Farewell, Dao Chen. But remember, you are a boy. You must grow up to be strong and protect those you love. Okay. Will you be alright all by yourself? There's bad men out there. I'll be alright. I'll come back as soon as I find us something to eat. Mommy! Mommy! And from that moment on, the boy was left to grow up all alone. My army brought the rebels under control just north of the capital. In no time, this land too will soon be conquered. I must compliment you, my lord. You command masterfully. Enemy troops! 
They're surrendering, sir. What should we do? I ask of you now, can we end these senseless killings? Even if I have betrayed the people, I will never allow them to betray me! But, sir... The Lord says he refuses to let them surrender. My love, Liu Bei, came face to face on the battlefield. Lord Liu Bei, at your service! Now attack! You saved us. You have my gratitude. That evening, Liu Bei held a banquet for Cao Cao. On a whim, it was decided that a medium from across the sea would be asked to read the future. On her command, I saw not only Liu Bei's oracle, but Cao Cao's as well. It was clear that the oracle of Liu Bei read, Heaven is beyond grasp. The woman of destiny brings ruin. And Cao Cao's read, Heaven is with you. The woman of destiny will change your fate. There is no other way. The priestess was Himiko. She somehow divined that I knew the location of the Imperial Seal. The seal. The sign of the one upon whom the mandate of heaven has been bestowed. The sign given only to the one who rules under heaven. Several months later, uniting with Himiko, Cao Cao called Liu Bei to the capital and attacked him. He kidnapped me so that he could make the Imperial Seal his own. This was the beginning of it all. Maybe now is the time to tell the story. The story of the secret buried in the darkness of history. The untold story of the long and drawn out war between two arch rivals, Liu Bei and Cao Cao. Miko, how conniving you are. You're awfully happy now that Yao Chan is going, aren't you, little one? You're going to see her off, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going. I'm not going. Not going! So forget it. Oh, all dressed up, are we? Aren't you something? <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> This is goodbye. I'm going to miss that smile of yours. I can't call Yubei soft anymore. <laughs> uh, you're right. You're brothers after all. <laughs> Ouch! Thank you. I know I will never forget it. Don't be so sad. You're not alone. Just look behind you. Zun Yu? Has your wound healed? After Cao Cao won the war, Liu Bei disappeared. 
so ended the great rivalry that shook the continent to its very foundation. I returned to singing as I had before meeting Liu Bei, and I set out to find him. I can't wait to see the look on his face once we're reunited. Liu Bei, do not worry. I will find you. And so, I reunited with Liu Bei. Chan, be strong. I'm on my way. Dao Chen's a commoner. You have royal blood. What do you mean, royal blood? Lady Mei San Yong, Yu Bei is the only living relative of the young emperor. If anything happens to the royal child, he will inherit the Han Empire. How does that happen? Now Cao Cao has taken advantage of the child emperor, seizing power for himself. He must be stopped, or else the empire will fall. The Han Empire, who cares? On you! Where is Zhang Fei? He's been out scouting for too long! Yes, he should have been back by now, brother. I'm worried. Ah. Mm. Oh, Mei Mei, I will avenge your death. On that, I give my word. Zhang Fei! What are you doing? Come on! You idiot! It's not a holiday! Oh. Oh. What? Liu oh. oh. Bei! Cao Cao's army is coming! Zhong Yu is leading them here! Can't be! How was Cao Cao able to anticipate our attack? All units hold! Hold! This is the third time we've come this far to visit Zhu Ge Liang. After all this time in trouble, brother, he'd better be the best warlord in the land. Hmm? Uh, just think. <laughs> what if he really can't perform magic? That would be something to see, wouldn't it? Ah! <laughs> I'd like to see that. Heaven's Mandate. That's correct. Lord Liu Bei of the Imperial Family is requesting your help to restore the Han Empire. Restore it? Don't you mean replace it? Are you listening at all? Try paying attention, will you? Unless you help us, we won't be able to defeat Lord Cao Cao. Give it up. It's a losing cause. Ask anyone who walks the streets of the capital, and they will surely tell you. The Mandate of Heaven has passed to Cao Cao. The Mandate of Heaven. You may be the world's greatest military genius, but are you suggesting the Mandate of Heaven has been granted to that petty tyrant Cao Cao? That's absurd! Listen, I don't give a damn about the Mandate of Heaven or about the restoration of the Han Empire! The only thing I want is Yao Chan! Lord Liu Bei! What are you saying? You have not yet heard my answer. Obviously, I don't even need to ask. <gasps> I will join you. I am at your service. Lord, the enemy is approaching quickly, so we would be wise to begin our battle preparations.
No matter how many battles we win, Cow Cow's army gets stronger! You'd think Heaven was on his side! Ah, shut your mouth! How can Heaven be on the side of a cold-blooded tyrant? He's heartless. He's out for his own gain. Now even our loyal friend Zhao Yun has gone and deserted us! I'm not surprised at that. He favored the restoration. All that you want is Zhao Chan. It's all you dream about. I'm walking on a different path than you are. Bad news! Mei Sun Yang and Zhuge Liang have gone and deserted us too! No, that can't be true! I heard they were seen heading toward enemy headquarters. Mei Sun Yang? No, no! <laughs> hey, why don't you all take off and desert me too while you have the chance? I know that Kao Kao will be overjoyed when he hears the news. <laughs> oh, brother! Don't you remember the oath we made? Hmm? That day, in the Grove of Peach Blossoms. That was the day you took us as brothers. Born apart on separate days. But when we die, may it be the same day. And at the exact moment. We were once outlaws that were scorned by everyone. That changed. That day I decided I'd do anything for Brother Liu Bei. <laughs> Brother! Even if the whole world forsakes you, I will never leave your side, not even for a second! <laughs> Please, your crying has to end. Now stop it! Or you'll make me start crying too! My brother! <laughs> has enough guts to fight me? Liu Bei has joined the Xin Quan and is preparing to attack. However, they have only half our strength. We have nothing to fear. They are nothing but fools. I have the mandate of heaven. You are all doomed. You fight me with paper swords. Cao Cao will not be defeated! <laughs> Can't have a fire attack without any wind. We're going to be destroyed. An envoy from Sun Quan has arrived. You're Liu Bei. I'm Sun Quan's sister, Sun Li. You dragged my brother into your lost cause. How dare you? You're going to burn up Cao Cao's navy, aren't you? No way. There isn't even any wind. Do not worry. Zhuge Liang will bring the wind. Are you drunk or crazy? Ah. <laughs> you just walk right in here all by yourself, do you? I guess all the rumors about your heroics are true. Lord Lu Xiang, I do not seek to wage war. Join me and fight, Cao Cao. We must resist him, or the people will suffer. I understand. I do not wish to fight either. However, I can't break the alliance I made with Cao Cao. You would side with a heinous tyrant like Cao Cao? Ah, poor Cao Cao. I pity him so much. Pity? I've known him since he was just a little boy. He was a sweet, adorable child. <laughs> but, war has changed him so much, I'm afraid. He's a merciless, vicious despot. I have a long-standing agreement. I cannot break my treaty with him. I'll leave at once. My lord! 
You enter my home and ask me to betray a friend? Go as I told you. War is no longer avoidable. While we're in this standoff, Ma Chao of Shamon Gate or Jia Hao Bao of Han Zhang could attack from the rear at any time. We have to fight then. Kao Kao was a sweet, adorable child. But war has changed him so much, I'm afraid. He's a merciless, vicious despot. It is time. We will plan the attack on Changdu Castle. Yes, yes sir. sir. If only Mei Mei were alive. Mei Mei, you were the best daughter any man could ever have. I would not be alive today. I have to avenge Mei Mei's death. Meng Huo, why did you start a rebellion? Look who's talking! What right have you got coming and messing up our land? You're crazy! First you... What are you looking at? Oh. <laughs> huh? Let me go. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'm gonna poke you full of holes, slice you into pieces. Don't forget it either. <laughs> ah, shut up, will ya? What did I tell you? Don't go off fight, right? But no, you jerk. You gotta get caught. Oh, oh, give me a break. It's just like this, honey. I... Hey, why are you still walking around free anyway? You were caught and they throw you back? <laughs> you're a flea without a dog. Hey, that's right, isn't it? Now you're thinking with your logic. Why did they spring me anyway? Good question. You are to go straight to King Mulu. As for you, go to King Dulce. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Zhuge Liang, Meng Huo was a great chief of Nanman. Why'd you let him go? To allow him the opportunity to change his mind and heart. Change his heart? The stars are in great disorder, making it extremely difficult to predict the future. Even for you? Yes, my lord. However, that bright, shining star up there is our light of hope. That star? Yes. Before, it was a faint light. But now, it has gained strength from the surrounding stars and is shining brightly. This is my lord's star. It is my star. Uh, it's Peng Di. He's coming with fresh enemy forces. My lord, I fear. He's threatening to take Liu Bei and Guan Yu's heads. Zhuge Liang, Guan Yu, convene the war council. There have been earthquakes. They caused great famine. All the villagers have fled. And many have become bandits. What is causing these disasters? My terrible battles with Cow Cow. Oh. Oh. Ah! 
Cao Cao! Return Yao Chan! You're a fool, doing this for a woman. You're to blame for this. You provoked the gods and broke the mandate of heaven. Look at this village! Behold the locusts! Down with the rebels! Down with the rebels! Down with the rebels! Lord Liu Bei, be confident! Do not fear! Zhao Yun! I am Zhang Wei of Jiangxi! Lord Liu Bei, we have been waiting for you. Please help us bring this land back to life! Our situation is desperate! These natural disasters are not caused by Liu Bei! Cao Cao built a government against the will of the people! That's the cause! How dare you! Xiao Yun! That's right. I finally realized the truth. He who is loved by the people is the one who should rule them. Now we'll see where the mandate lies. He who is loved by the people? He's loved by the people? Don't make me laugh. People want a leader who's strong! Himiko! Turn them to dust! Right! About time, huh? Retreat and regroup. So this is where you are. Uh-huh. You're thinking about Diao Chan again, aren't you? Yes, I... Yes, I am. Liu Bei. Uh-huh. I know you're sad about Diao Chan. I'll help you forget. Uh... No, uh... There's a war council. has come from the capital. He says Yao Chuan is dead. What? <gasps> Who said so? Who? Did he see it with his own eyes? I don't know. That's just what he said. <laughs> no. Not Yao Chan. It can't be true. Let's go to the war council. To help the people of Z, we must take out Kai Wengi. We must go! <sighs> War must be fought man to man. Anyone can tell you that. <clears throat> How can machines fight battles? It's Jin preposterous. Bay. Look at you. Mei Sun Young. So, have you lost interest in you, Bay? <gasps> You stink! Zhang Fei! Liu Bei already has Jiao Chan! <gasps> so how about Guan Yu? Guan Yu? The man's afraid of frogs! Afraid of frogs? Lord Guan Yu? 
<gasps> yeah, Guan Yu has a lifelong fear of frogs. <gasps> a while back, there was a frog in the road. He ordered me to move it, so I threw it in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Yao Chan. Liu Bei, you're still my only love. <clears throat> tomorrow, tomorrow will be an all-out attack on Cheng Kang Castle. I've already prepared Gargantua. Liu Bei, what are you doing here? A messenger ran from the capital, saying that Yao Chan has died. What? Who said so? Who? Did he see it with his own eyes? I don't know. That's just what he said. <laughs> Yo, Chen. She can't be dead. Everyone, to the War Council. If we don't take down Cheng Kang Castle, we can't advance to Zhong Yuan. Li Li, we must go. Spies are getting much more daring. A wise and valiant general, Zheng Liao, is protecting Zheng An. Our troops must be swift and decisive. Before the enemy strengthen their defenses, let's advance. Lord Liu Bei! My lord, a messenger has come from the castle. He says Dao Chan is dead. What's that? It's not for certain, but... No, I refuse to believe it! Everyone prepare to attack Chang An! My lord. Do, do, do. Yao Chan is alive. I feel it. I know it's true. All the stars indicate betrayal in the south. Betrayal? Wan Yu is defending the Jing province with great strength, and our advanced unit is slowly being demolished. Even if Liu Bei caused these disasters, still, this is betrayal. If we don't strike Liu Bei now, our glorious state of Wu will fall. Pledged allegiance betrayed us. Brother! On you! Wait for us! We'll be there as soon as we can! Don't be stupid! You can't save Wan Yu by yourself! Please wait for everybody else! He's fighting the enemy all by himself! Why are you here? Your brother has become our enemy! I choose you, Liu Bei! Only you! Not my brother, Sun Quan! Sun Li! Enough! Hmm? Hey, Zuge Liang! 
What strange tricks are you up to? I foresaw what was to come. Cow Cow will conquer the world. Cow Cow is fated to win. It is written in the stars. Lord Liu Bei's strong will has surpassed the mandate of heaven. It's your fault. You're a loser, a big fat loser. Stupid too, but whatever. Tell Liu Bei to be on the battlefield tomorrow. He'll get to see Diao Chan. Lady Diao Chan? She's alive? For now. Who knows about tomorrow? See ya! <laughs> I will destroy you and take back Diao Chan. You're nothing but a pawn to the Mandate of Heaven. In the past, I took my strength from the Mandate of Heaven. But now, I will start a new world on my own. I will not allow it. Liu Bei! Stop it! Diao Chan! Don't despair! Liu Bei! You will not conquer this land. The people will never follow you. The hearts of the people always follow the new monarch. That's the divine principle. Cow Cow, tomorrow morning in fair battle, you and I will fight to the death. You make me laugh. Flee while you can. You should flee. Raised the rebellion in East Lao? Diao Chen, tell me, where is the Imperial Seal? Hm. I warn you again. Tell me, or Liu Bei will die. Liu Bei will not be defeated. Then promise me, if I defeat him, you'll tell me where the seal is. Here is the Imperial Seal. Seek out a worthy hero to give it to. Take it. Your Majesty, promise me. Thank you, Dao Chan. <laughs> Liu Bei, I will wring your neck. Say, Cao Cao, Liu Bei is one of the greatest heroes of all. Please, I don't understand why he has to die. Such talk is disloyal and dangerous even from my uncle. Leave me. Pardon me? I said leave me! When the subject concerns Liu Bei, my lord gets very upset. Shut up. Everyone, listen up now, I have something to say! Heaven hates Liu Bei, it gave him enemies like Cao Cao and me! Cao Cao does not have the faintest idea of what's going on. Perhaps it would be a good idea to tell him. Yes, I will! But where should I begin, and how much should I say? He probably wouldn't believe me even if I did. Liu Bei is approaching the capital? Why didn't I already know this? He was supposed to be watched! Please forgive me! Uh... My lord, should we go fight Liu Bei while we're in the middle of battling Yuan Zhao? My lord, please leave it to me! You don't know about fighting. Go away now! Lord, please allow me! Kao Ren, your defense is strong, but you can't handle sudden changes. Enough said! Please, my lord, let me go. I'll kill Liu Bei and rid you of the thorn in your side. Hmm. I will not fail you, my lord. Well, 
After Zun Yu attacks, I will devise a plan to take down Liu Bei. Yes, my lord! Prepare the troops! What do we do about the battle with Yuan Shao? Jie Hao Yuan, it's up to you. I'm going to take care of Liu Bei. Magic on Jiao Chen? Yes. Doesn't she look peaceful? I just put her down for a little nap. What? I said don't touch her. What? Why are you so upset? She's so much like. What? Like who? My mother. Your mother? Is it that. You miss your mother? Kao Ren is surrounded by Liu Bei's army! Zhu Ge Liang, allied with Liu Bei, is shrewd! This is bad! <laughs> My lord, your humble servant has made a pledge of brotherhood with Kao Ren. What use is justice and mercy? Strength can be trusted. Now go to Bo on Po. That is all! Yes, yes sir. sir! Zhu Nyu, summon Yao Chan from the capital. My lord, is Yao Chan all that you can think about right now? Just go get her! My lord, you have changed so much. Why are you only concerned with what happens to Yao Chan? She's just a common prisoner. If you push her enough, she'll tell you where to find the Imperial Seal. What? Did I ask for your opinion? Do you? Tell me, are you serving me as a warlord or as a woman? I must know the truth. Speak to me now. I will, I. I am a warlord, not a woman. My lord. My lord, the rest of the North has been suppressed. Oh. Ah, Zheng Liao. I'm relieved to see you back. Zun Yu, prepare for the War Council. So... Liu Bei has the guts to fight me? Liu Bei has joined the Sun Quan and is preparing to attack. However, they have only half our strength. We have nothing to fear. Oh, what fools they are. You who know not the mandate of heaven. You fools who would oppose me with your little limp fists. My Kao Kao will not be defeated! <laughs> Well, now will you tell me where the Imperial Seal is? You may take the world by force, but there will still be rebellions. An unsure hand guarantees rebellion. Unless all traces of the old world vanish, a new world cannot be built. <laughs> that Thug Ma Chao attacked us. That much is clear. Want Liu Bei to stop committing these crimes? Then tell me, where is the Imperial Seal? I don't know what you mean. Liu Bei is intent on rescuing you, even if he has to defy heaven. This earthquake is heaven's wrath. It's Liu Bei's fault. Unless I get the Imperial Seal, the wrath of heaven will not cease. Diao Chen, tell me where it is. If you do. I promise you can go back to Liu Bei. Such arrogance. What's wrong? Don't you want to see Liu Bei? I have promised the Emperor. I can only tell a worthy hero where the Imperial Seal can be found. What are you saying?
And? Well? Why aren't you he? What's that? Who is this guy? Can't you see? You keep making the same mistakes. Lord Cow Cow is called a hero. But no matter how many battles you win, disasters continue. Why is that? Have you ever stopped to ask yourselves why the chaos has not ended? Aren't you curious? It is a sign. Can you read it? Hmm. Still in the dark, huh? Well. I'll explain. Lord Kao Kao, observe those around you. You have more loyal commanders than the sky has stars. They have pledged their lives to you, yet you do not realize this. No, you're only thinking of yourself, your glory, your supposed greatness. <sighs> if you do not give this heed, I am afraid, you will fail to conquer the world. You will lose to Liu Bei. Even my child will be you. You admonish me? Who are you? I am called Sima Yi. <laughs> you are fearless. I think I like you, Sima Yi. You will serve me. My lord? Let's hold a council on how to drive back Ma Chao. My yes, lord. sir! How dare you disobey? You leave swearing to avenge your father? You return with your tail between your legs! I have no excuse! My lord! I know I deserve to die! Then you are ready for death! My lord, please forgive him! Please! Jiahaoba, sometimes a general, must choose to act like a coward in the field. You can't defeat tens of thousands by making a mad dash into oblivion. A quick temper cannot be cured overnight. From now on, you'll be working with Sima Yi. Very wise words. I'm impressed by your wisdom. To war council, immediately! My lord. Zeng has been savagely attacked by Liu Bei's army and captured. Lord Cao Cao, all you have to do is say the word, and I will rescue Fang Zing. Peng Di. Your Excellency, is it wise to allow Peng Dei to lead the rescue? Peng Dei's former master, Ma Chao, is nothing but a pawn of Liu Bei's. Jun Yu. I have parted company with Ma Chao, and I have no allegiance to him. How can you doubt one who offers his very life? Step down, Zun Yu. But Lord! Pang Di, go and perform great things in the service of the Empire. So it will be. Liu Bei's casket is already prepared. A little over the top, isn't it? <laughs> My Lord, what is your will? Liu Bei. This time you won't see the end of the battle. Ooh! Come on. Let me help you, let me help you. Doesn't that sound awfully familiar? Right, Huji? Do you like Cow Cow? Do you, Huji? Huji, what's your take on that Zhao Chan girl? Is she really all that great? My eyes are much deeper. My figure fuller and more shapely. I'm very graceful. And my legs are longer. See, I'm much younger than her. She's so old. 
The only thing she's got going for her is that she resembles his mother. Accepted. She's really something. Forget about it. Poochie's a great big loser! I hate you, Poochie! <laughs> I'm not afraid of Kaiwengi now or any time. I invaded this land to get rich. There's incredible wealth in trade with the West. Trade with the West, my lord? I hear stories. Lands of great riches. A country of power and greatness they call Rome. I hate Poochie! I'm the cutest one! No woman compares to me! Who is that girl? disasters had to become emperor without the imperial seal. All because you won't tell us where it's hidden. It's your fault that his majesty is behaving so foolishly. He requires the imperial seal from you. He thinks getting it requires winning over your silly heart. The last emperor entrusted me with that seal. It's not mine to give. You have no reason to criticize me like this. What'd you say? <laughs> so you, you're in love with Cow Cow, aren't you? Just shut up! <laughs> oh my, heaven forbid! Cow Cow! Return to your chan! You're a fool, doing this for a woman! You're to blame for this. You provoked the gods and broke the mandate of heaven. Look at this village. Behold the locusts. Down with the rebels! Down with the rebels! Down with the rebels! Down with the rebels! Lord Liu Bei, be confident. Do not fear. Zhao Yun. Zhongwei of Tianxi, Lord Lu Bei, we have been waiting for you. Please help us bring this land back to life. Our situation is desperate. These natural disasters are not caused by Liu Bei. Cao Cao built a government against the will of the people. That's the cause. How dare you! Xiao <laughs> Yun. Right. I finally realized the truth. He who is loved by the people is the one who should rule them. Now we'll see where the mandate lies. He who is loved by the people? He's loved by the people? Don't make me laugh. The people want a leader who's strong. Kimiko, turn them to dust. Right. About time, huh? Retreat and regroup. Ah! Uncle, what is it you've come to say? I'd like to talk in private. Don't you worry about that one. Uh-huh. Well, I guess it's okay. Uncle! Tell me, what is it? Uh, I don't know how to say this, but you and Liu Bei, you're, you're, you're brothers. Brothers? Soon after you were born and you were separated, Liu Bei was born. As brothers, 
No one can make you fight. I can't believe it. Liu Bei, my brother? <laughs> now that's a good one. Please be kind. Have pity on Cao Cao. The Imperial Seal. Where is it? Please tell me. Please. I'm begging you. Don't you see? We need it. To stop the fighting with Liu Bei. But why? Why would you bow to me? I think you'll be shocked. What? It's really true. Brothers? How can they? I don't have any family either. He shouldn't be fighting Liu Bei. Himiko, what are you doing? Uh, well, it, it's like I... Uh, I, uh, uh, well, I, I... Just leave now. So it is. I have no hope for peace in the land. For the longest time, I had no fear of anything. No one would dare to try to conquer me. And do you know why? At least, since the day I lost my mother, then there was nothing, nothing left to lose. But now, now I have a brother I never knew I had. How can this be? Your heart is trapped and hidden, hidden in an armored shell of ice. But deep inside, it's beating. When the armor melts away, your true self will be revealed. My true self? Use your tricks on Dao Chan. But Kalko, you're the reason I've worked so hard. Why are you defending her like that? Dao Chan is very precious to me, you know. I mean, she taught me something precious. What's that? By one word from Dao Chan. Is something going on between you? I have been set free from the mandate of heaven. Kalko, I'll stop these you don't disasters mean you. for good. And Judge Hanar, no! I can't take it. But wait, you you've got it all wrong. All over my affection, I'll never forgive you. My lord. It's reckless to take arms against the mighty Cao Cao. Trust me on this. Sir, it's hopeless. Someday Cao Cao will come and attack Wu. There is no other hope. We must fight for our survival. Just like Chi Bi. Who could have guessed that Sun Quan would attack at a time like this? All the fallen ashes must be brushed off forever. Tell me that Diao Chan is still alive? Oh, she's alive and kicking.
picky. But I'm much more upset with that stubborn cow cow. Actually, you're fighting against cow cow. Why don't we join forces? What's that? I don't know what you're up to, but I respect Liu Bei's character. So I'm fighting to make his dream a reality. I will not join with anyone who is against that. So I'm afraid I must say no to you, and that is my final decision. Hey! You're a loser! All of you! A bunch of losers! Forgive me. Even if Liu Bei is in fact my brother, I have to fight him. As heaven cannot have two sons, so Earth cannot have two kings. I understand. But Liu Bei will not die. You must believe this. I'm sure that if I were your mother, I know I could find a different... Xiao Chan. Our time together was short. But wondrous. Your Majesty. I will tell you where the Imperial Seal is now. There is no longer any need. destroy you and take back Diao Chan. You're nothing but a pawn to the Mandate of Heaven. In the past, I took my strength from the Mandate of Heaven, but now I will start a new world on my own. I will not allow it. Liu Bei! Stop it! Diao Chan, don't despair! Liu Bei! You will not conquer this land. The people will never follow you. The hearts of the people always follow the new monarch. That's the divine principle. Cow Cow, tomorrow morning in fair battle, you and I will fight to the death. You make me laugh. Flee while you can. You should flee. What? Zhu Ge Liang is in rebellion in the north? Facing my own doom. Ah! Jiho Yuan! At last I have a worthy opponent! Done it. I cannot believe this. The dynasty's of little concern to him. All Lord Yu Bei really cares about is saving that woman. Listen, 
I don't give a damn about the mandate of heaven or about the restoration of the Han Empire! The only thing I want is Dao Chan! Him by yourself, Zhuge Liang? The Lord Sorceress prevented me from bringing you his head. Now that you've seen it, do you believe I am loyal to you? Huh. You are incredible. Well, I must get back to my troops. Please excuse me. Goodbye. at this time of year. There's been no high wind at Chibi. Zhuge Liang can't make winds blow and violate all the laws of heaven. Zhao Yu, your concerns are not unreasonable. But Liu Bei assured us that the wind would blow. I'll put my money on. Liu Bei. of heaven? 
Do not disturb the millions of heaven and earth. What? The mandate of heaven cannot be changed. Curse your mandate! I will triumph in this war! Do not defy heaven. Do not disturb the moon of heaven and earth. Flames of hell! Burn, Chibi! Burn! <laughs> Miss Sun Lee! Leaving your post is against orders! Get back here right now! Come back! Come back here! I am Pang D. Feed me well! I've come to end your line! I will put you in your coffin and steal your famous horse, Red Hair! Come like you. Hey! Where are you going? Kill me! Kill me! Diao Chan! Nice girl, huh? Yeah, she sure is, Liu Bei. Why don't you go talk to her? You! Liu Bei! He's actually going! Yeah! Go for it, brother! I know we will save her. To battle!
such means to kill us, even if it meant your own death? Zuhelion. Ha! Take good care of that woman. I mean your wife. your lady down. Didn't 
think it would end like this. You bay. I... <sighs> Why did you run and break formation? I'm sorry! I just went crazy! We almost lost everything. Because of you! Forgive me. But I can't trust that newcomer, Zhuge Liu! I just can't trust him! Zhang Fei! Perhaps you're right. About it. If you're not satisfied, do you think we should go at it again? Oh no, forgive us all knowing it very much. My, my, order. my, you guys are tough, all muscles and armor. Woo! I haven't been this worked up in a long time. Is there gonna be a big long battle? Is there? Don't you want to take you wrong along with you? Oh, hold on a minute. You no. stay here and guard the girl. <laughs> Got it? Oh. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> oh no, brother! Why did you choose to fight Liu Bei? <laughs> After he defeated Cao Cao, I was afraid he would set his sights on Wu. Oh, Liu Bei would never do such a thing! <laughs> Attack Wu? <laughs> It never crossed my mind. <laughs> my lord Sun Quan, it is my wish that you continue to rule Wu. What? You are forgiving me, Lord Liu Bei? My lord, the warlord Zhuge Liang among the enemy. We shouldn't pursue them any farther. Well, I do admit this would be a good place for an ambush. It's an ambush, all right. My lord, I will take control of this situation now. I cannot ask you to do that. My lord! What of the mandate of heaven? Who among us would quell this rebellion? I beg you to put your faith in a loyal servant. Ha!
いくらい果てなく見えてる汚れた僕を吐き出せたら迷わないでそこに行けるのにあまりにも長い時を流れて生きてきた心の中を覗けと告げる天使が。告げる。